what do you think some of the great things are about Chicago that make it attractive to put it in a show like that or I'm an architecture buff and it's just it's one of the most stunningly aesthetically beautiful cities I've ever seen and I've been all I've had the good fortune to be all over the world but Chicago is I mean incredibly impressive so from an outsider perspective and someone who's seen the world you think that all these different cultures and all these different people from countries around the world would actually appreciate that as the backdrop for the absolutely most great like we got to shoot in um, uh, God pretty much all over. We got to shoot at, uh, at Soldier Field, at uh, Wrigley Field. We've been all over the place. Beautiful I mean, backdrop. I it's think. gorgeous, man. What a great city. Going to Chicago, it's got everything New York has, but it's got a much more sort of user-friendly, laid-back pace to it, which I love. So you're saying it's better? <laughs> I, I, I can't turn my back completely I'm on, on, on my hometown, but uh, it's great. I mean, it, it's just it's one of those cities where... It's not intimidating, it's gorgeous, it's enthralling. I mean, for me, I mean, everyone's gonna say the food, and the sports, and the culture, and all that. It was the people. I was really blown away by just how cool, inviting the people were. I mean, there were times where, uh, I think Kyle Howard and I were walking down the street just looking for, you know, a place to grab a beer, and, you know, like a car full of, you know, mid-twenties people, like, rolled down their windows, like, hey, what's going on? It's the guy from My Boys. We're like, yeah, what's going on? Like, come down here to the Rainbow Room. So we're now the Rainbow Room over in uh, what is that Bucktown? Bucktown? Yeah, yeah. Good and spot. I mean everybody they were they were buying us beers. Yeah. First of all, two dollar beers you can't beat that. Yeah. In, in L. A. Everything's like seven dollars, so two dollar beers is huge. And uh, Midwest hospitality is best. It was great, man. It really was. Like I never felt so so you know welcomed in you know a city that I'm not from and that I don't live in in my entire life. It was awesome. Do you think New Yorkers and people from L. A. Where you're at now um, have any weird feelings about it being another city, or do they understand that this is an American thing? That this is the representative of the entire United States? Oh, absolutely. It sort of feels like it would, it's right for Chicago to be sort of taking center stage right now. I mean, like you've got Obama coming out of there, you know, you've got just lots of culture, you've got architecture going on, the sports teams have been doing great. It's just, it's, it's slowly kind of crept back into the American people's minds. Chicago sort of, you know, is like the gleaming city in the Midwest, and it's just, it's really cool how more and more, and maybe it's just because after working on the show, I'm that more dialed into it. But uh, I've been going there, I mean, just for fun. I mean, you know, Lollapalooza is one of the most impressive concerts I've ever seen yeah. in my entire life in Grant Park. I mean, it's just more and more, like things just keep, you know, sort of falling towards Chicago. Hey, we need great. your support. I mean, I think people have to understand from around the country that everyone needs to get back behind this because you know, as Americans, we could benefit. I think it's really important that, you know, we finally now are starting to bridge the gap that's been forged between the United States and some other countries. We've sort of, you know, we've, we've settled some bad blood, we're starting to mend some relationships, and I just think what better way than to host, you know, the most, you know, magnanimous and lovely sporting event the world over, which, you know, I mean, the, the Summer Olympics are just, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. So to host every country around the world, it gives us a chance to, to say, okay, not only are we sort of back on track politically, but just, you know, hospitably, you know, brotherly, just, it's it's a great opportunity to welcome people into our home and show everybody, it's like, you know what, there's still a lot of love here. <laughs> All right, man, thank you very much. Thank you.